And now, First Warn Five Weather with meteorologist Samara Kokinos. There are plenty of clear skies outside. Your time right now is 642, and it is chilly to start the day. So if you're headed out for that early morning run, I would carry a light jacket or even wear one. Definitely a little bit cool this morning. 48 degrees in Rio Grande City to 57 in McAllen. 56 when you get into Wessico, but look at Edinburgh. Right around 51 degrees there. 53 down the I-69E corridor in Raymondville and Harlingen to 54 in Brownsville. On the island, you're right around 72 degrees. We have all of the lower level humidity gone. So it feels dry out there. It's a pretty good hair day out there. We'll have a comfortable category for today. Kind of borderline muggy as the afternoon goes on, but it, it, the temperatures this afternoon in the low 80s will be tolerable. If you're headed uh, to the north, definitely some cooler weather there. 49 degrees in Abilene to 41 in Midland and Amarillo. Look at Austin this morning, 38 degrees and 37 in Longview. So if you are headed farther north for the Thanksgiving Day holiday, be sure to pack some warmer clothing. We, we do have a cold front headed our way, but for now what we're looking at is high pressure situated across Texas. We know that because nothing's happening. We'll continue to draw in all that lower level moisture out of the south southeast and the winds are going to pick up even even more tomorrow. And so a lot more moisture will build up. You'll feel the humidity a little bit more, and you'll also notice that the clouds get a little bit thicker. We are tracking the tropics this morning. Hurricane season is coming to an end, but as you take a look here, we still have Tropical Depression 16 situated in the southwestern Caribbean. It looks like this particular system, as we put future track in motion and we kind of put the forecast uh, in motion going to Wednesday and Thursday, notice that this particular system, as it heads toward Nicaragua and Costa Rica, could increase to a tropical storm and even a Category 1 hurricane as it gets closer uh, to those areas, but uh, it's something that we'll be watching. If it does develop, its name will be Otto, but it doesn't look like it'll be impacting the Rio Grande Valley. It's staying well to our south. Back at home, this is what we're going to be dealing with. Tomorrow, you'll notice some changes. It'll be a little bit warmer, and it'll definitely be breezy. We'll have gusty winds up near 30 miles per hour tomorrow afternoon. That cold front will arrive midweek, and it'll bring a few showers to the forecast, but no major cool down. In time for Thanksgiving. In fact, I think it's just going to be maybe a little cloudy, a little bit wet out there. So let's take a look here at the forecast for Thanksgiving. We're looking at uh, partly sunny skies. A few showers are possible with rain chances around 10 or 20 percent. Your high temperatures right around 83 degrees. So notice that we're not cooling down a whole lot, uh, but there is a gradual cool down, and you'll need your umbrellas with you on Wednesday and on Thursday, possibly. But I think for the most part, much of the valley is going to be rather dry. 82 degrees today with mainly sunny skies. South southeast wind will be at about 7 to 14 miles per hour. Tomorrow it's going to be a little bit more breezy. 67 will be your overnight low and it'll be mainly cloudy out there and we'll have a light southeast wind. So here's your first warm five seven day forecast. We'll be at 85 degrees tomorrow and remember those winds will be elevated out of the southeast at 12 to 20 miles per hour gusting near 30 miles per hour. So definitely if you have longer hair do yourself a favor and get ready to pull that back. Now, when you're looking at Wednesday, spotty showers are in the forecast, so don't forget your rain gear. I don't think everybody will get the rain, but there will be showers out there to deal with. Same thing on Thursday. There is a shower possible, but we go from 85 to 83 for Thanksgiving. For Black Friday, it looks like a mainly sunny afternoon with temperatures right around 80. Not too bad out there. And then this weekend, a slight cool down, not much. 78 to start the weekend with partly sunny skies going back to 82 by Sunday. So that cool down that we do get, although it is little, it will also be rather brief. Your overnight lows will drop from 67 tonight and tomorrow night to 63 for Wednesday and Thursday night, back down to 60 in time for the weekend. That's your updated first one five forecast.